Hello everyone. Today we are at the Voyager Landing Forest Preserve in Elgin, Illinois. We are here today to see what I am calling the hidden bridge over the Fox River. There is a pedestrian bridge to cross the Fox River right here where I-90 crosses the Fox River, but there is a pedestrian bridge underneath it. And this is a bridge that unless you are driving through here, and I did a little video how to get here, it is off of Airport Road on the west side of the river off of 31, that unless you were driving through here, you would have no idea that it actually exists. Now, many people, I'm sure, have driven over the Foss River on 990. A lot of people. But very few probably knew that there was a pedestrian bridge underneath it. I've known about this bridge for a little bit and decided today that I want to officially walk across it. And that's really about it. And I have this chicken Caesar wrap sandwich as well which I plan to eat if I can find a nice spot to sit down. And that is our destination. That very long pedestrian bridge that is underneath, that is, I-90 right above it. There is also parking, looks like, over on the east side of the river as well, so whichever direction you're coming from, you can get to it and what I believe is on the other side there is the branch of the Illinois prairie path that goes up from around Elgin down to St. Charles and Aurora and all that so I might have actually biked down that portion of the Foster River Trail at one point. It's a very nice spring day. You can see plenty of people out fishing, biking, and everything else. Very busy today. But with this weather, I don't blame them. But we need to head this way to actually leave this park and get to the crossing. Got my sandwich here with me. So let's go. to give you guys an idea of where we are at. That is I-90 looking westbound right before the Illinois Route 31 exit and a toll booth. This here is Airport Road. Again, looking westbound. That's the entrance to the Voyager Landing Forest Preserve. And this is a little path here that we need to go down to get to our bridge over there and airport road continues underneath i-90 and there is a like mobile home park down there and eventually connects back to route 31 and there it is ready to cross the fox river And spot this little guy here, signed for the Fox River Trail. And I guess it is officially called the Fox River Trail here. I know it connects to the Prairie Path and all that, but uh, yeah, it's officially called the Fox River Trail here, so. I stand corrected, but it's all kind of one and the same thing. They all kind of, sort of connect together. All right, let's go. Not going to be the quietest of walks with the tole right above us. But 
but kind of a unique experience walking underneath a tollway and a river at the same time. So this is looking south along the Fox River. And this is looking north along the Fox River. I think some trucks are going over because I'm feeling this whole bridge shake a little bit. This is interesting. Could be from the bikes that just passed too, I don't know, but um, yeah, I can feel a little bit of shaking, but it's actually a pretty, pretty long bridge. Once again, looking south, here is the other parking lot. It is Duncan Avenue here on the east side of the river. A little parking there. And a little better view looking north, in my opinion. You can see a little bit more of the river, though. Got some folks fishing on this side as well. And we made it to the Fox River Trail. Ooh, I love these little mile marker signs. 2.4 miles to the south to Elgin and 2.5 miles north to Dundee. Sounds about right. About halfway between the two towns. I didn't really find too many good places to sit here, though. I'm end up just eating my sandwich back in the car, but uh... Mile Marker 7. That's cool too. Well, we are officially walking on the Fox River Trail right now. So that's kind of cool. Not really any place to sit down there, so we're just going to kind of head back over the bridge here. have another mile marker sign here uh, back to the Forest Preserve and Judson University and Tyler Creek Forest Preserve. Not sure exactly where either of those two are, but uh, those are on this side. I think I found my spot. Got a little bit of grassy area right here. Right next to the bridge and in the shade. This I guess will work. So I guess we're doing another food review. This is nothing fancy, not like the elegant farmer. This is a simple chicken Caesar wrapped sandwich. And we got the Kraft Creamy Caesar dressing. A definite must for this. The problem with these is I can never get the wraps quite back on the way they had it, but... And as you see, stuff wants to fall out of it. Let's get the other side now. 
This one we're gonna just dump it in here like this. The Caesar sauce is good, the chicken is good as well, and um, you know, the wrap, the breading is uh, good also. <laughs> yeah, that's my extensive food review. <laughs> Yeah, you can never go wrong with a chicken Caesar wrap. But really anything. Chicken Caesar, Caesar salad, anything along those lines you can never go wrong with in my opinion. Notice we are right next to some big power lines, which you've probably seen if you travel down I-90 at some point. They're very close to them. Which is probably why the fence is right here, to kind of block people off from getting too close to it. One little tree growing out of the dirt. Must not get a lot of sun, that's for sure. But, we are all finished, and now I just have to find somewhere to throw this out. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of random vlog. Checking out the hidden Fox River Bridge here in Elgin, Illinois. I feel like I have to do a lot of random stuff, still being in this COVID-19 world, but things are opening back up. Restrictions are being lifted as we get into June and the summer. So hopefully I will have more travel vlogs, more interesting stuff coming for you in the near future but thank you for watching this video click the like button if you enjoyed it now you will be hard to find this bridge on a google map because you'll only see the tollway but it is here you can find it if you need directions or anything like that and you want to check it out just uh, send me a message or comment below and I'll try to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and of course check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you for watching. So I have a question for you. Would you yell Yelp to open the gate? We will not have to try that today, thankfully.
there's a garbage can right next to my vehicle. How convenient.